I guess we're going outside again. Outdoors. Or not. Ah! Subotenders! Subotender Emperatrice. Which I guess is sort of Emperor. And... Soldado, which is probably Soldier. So, I guess... Okay. In Final Fantasy XI, characters have both of those attacks. 1,000 needles and 10,000 needles. Uh, they do exactly 1,000 damage, or 10,000 damage, if they hit one people. Counting needles. Yeah, 100,000 needles? Uh, 3,000 needles. Oh, she was counting needles and you just interrupt her, so... You don't get hit by 10,000, 100,000 needles. That would be really bad. Anyway, in Final Fantasy XI, one way to dodge these attacks, or at least mitigate the damage, is that 1,000 needles deals 1,000 damage to exactly, or either to to one person, if it if it hits one person. But if it hits five people, the damage is divided by five, so you take like 200 damage. Uh, and that's the attack you want to dodge. Campeador. Like, champion? Guardia. She's counting needles again. Oh, 5,000 needles! No, that would maybe kill me. That's a lot of bats. Oh my god, she's still... Oh, good. You interrupted her! Why did I use cleric stance? Yeah. Uh, uh, heal people. Oh no! No, I'm sorry. Why weren't the tank tanking it? We're almost one, but it's... Tank, could you get these off of us? Or... Oh, he sort of decided to run. Uh... Royal Kukuru Bean. Okay, I guess I'll try the heading gauntlets. Ignore the rest because I don't care. And... Yeah, you gotta... Helm. Now, I need to figure out what I do with it. Uh, what are they saying? I said stuff, but I couldn't read all of it. Yeah, but these are basically the Tomb Raiders. Eh, <laughs> Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raiders that set off all your traps. Or something. Now we just need to find a Star Sphere. And then solve the magic trap. Zero out of three. So there are three traps. Things. My precious. I guess these are the ones with Star Sphere. They mention a Yule. Look at the size of this Yule. It's the size of my head or whatever. So we kill them. Get the Star Sphere, which is the Yule. Which is the key for a door up ahead. And then we can do the magic trap thing. As soon as this guy dies. Uh, yep, there it is. Star Sphere. Mine! <coughs> Another sound. Mummies? Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? Are you my tank? Let's look at those. Uh, kind of beefy looking for mummies, considering they're like rotten bodies. But I guess maybe they work out. I don't know. Eh. Ooh. Now what? Where to? Is this, is this the door? It looks like a door, just not. There it is. It's open. Belladian Knight. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. What? 
What's this? It's stuck? That's weird. It's in hiding. It's afraid. It knows we're gonna kill it if we see it because we're so badass. Come on, kill it! Nyeh. Nyeh. Oh, now you attack. Okay, with two arrow, stone two, rotting bandages. Seems like a hygienic attack. Oh? Aww, what happened to these guys? Are these two guys trapped in here? I'll just ignore that, because they did. Magic pedestal. I guess there are two more. Yeah, up ahead probably, or whatever. Solve the magic trap, and then most likely the final boss. I remember in the normal version of this dungeon, there's this little puzzle, actually. And not for a lot of the bosses, or actually normal mobs, you, you have to pull them onto these platforms to kill them, I'm dying. Or you can't kill them because he has keep resurrecting unless they die on the platform, which also serves as keys to open doors. But also, at the very beginning of the dungeon, there's this weird thing you can check and it has... And it just says something random, I don't know what it is, but there are these symbols on it, which are the key for solving the entrance to the end of the dungeon. You need to use those symbols, remember them, to place the, to place a couple of key items you find in the right place, which can either unlock... Uh, it, it unleashes mobs on you if you do it wrong, or it just opens the door to the final boss if you do it right. And you can also unlock like a thing on the side, I don't remember what it is. Okay, I guess they're using it and and it's oh oh it's opening. They did it. The magic trap is triggered. The door opens. Slay the visigerant of the warden. Okay, final boss time. Oh, hello. Oh, you're... You're the guy. You're the heads we were fighting. You're fugly. Except you got more head now. You got another head. And they're fighting without me. Okay, good luck with that. I can't get in now. So, I did say it was my first time, they should have expected me to look at a cutscene. Not to mention just, I don't know, wait for the healer to come. Good job, tank. Good job. Not good job. That's not a good job. And dead. I'm just gonna step back before it, like, cleaves me or something through the gates. Now I'm here! Guys, where are you? Yeah, you're not here. Guys, I'm good. Yeah, but that was really their fault. They didn't wait for me. Like, they engaged the boss as soon as possible, rather than just, I don't know, waiting. 10 seconds. Alright, everyone's back. Start casting stone skin 2 and protect, and then we're ready. Protect and done. Now I'm here. Oops, lamp. Okay, so final boss guy. What do you do? 
Uh, ooh, things. I probably don't want to. Oh, ads. That's a lot of ads. Do I? Oh, yeah. Don't just stand in front of them. That seems to be it. You almost got hit, but you didn't. Good job. Ah! You're trapped. I don't. Can I save you? Can I do something? Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh. Okay, curse of the mummy. Suffering an ancient curse. A stack of four will result in mummification. Uh. Okay, can we cut it end? Serving as a mindless frog. Oh my god, look at the cute mummy! But this is also really bad. You can't heal. Uh, would it go away? I ah, uh, just in time. Managed to throw a benediction right before he died. And get out of the way for those. I was the cutest mummy ever, though. Oh, didn't even see those. Uh. Okay, so basically avoid the mummies and don't get hit or you'll turn into a one. Into one. Rumble, rumble. Woo! He's basically AOEing. Pew! Step over here. Rather over here, not over there, because then I've been way for those. Here we go. Oh, the tanks turning into one. That's probably bad. Oh no, dragoons tanking. Ah! Am I? Do I have Fred on it? No, I don't. But the tank. Oh, there comes the tank. Hello, tank. You're looking grand. And now it's normal. Whee! And victory! That was a fun fight, I suppose. You know, being turned into a mummy and all. The Rosarium or Lalafito, the blah 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 blah. You obtain 30 tombstones of poetics and soldiery and stuff and other stuff. What is all this commotion? Hello. Yeah, I think you're the one I came here to rescue. Or something. Uh, necklace of healing. I have a better one, so I'm gonna have to decline that as good, it is. good as it is. I don't want one as well. Uh, random commendation for you, I don't know why. Uh, so that was the Sunkle Temple of Karn, hard mode for Final Fantasy XIV. If you liked any of this, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, and join me next time. And now I'm gonna bring up an emote, which looks funny. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Beep. Boop. Boop.